Hi, this is Paul from CountryCraziness.com, where we test the tools we use and the toys we play with. Today, I'm going to test out my new shop vac, so stay tuned. I've had this old shop vac for a number of years now. In fact, I've got one just like it down in Florida. But it's got some limitations and this one got to the point where it won't work on um, a wet function anymore so i'm going to retire it and use it for my orbital sander had to replace it and so i decided to get this armor all one it's got really good reviews and it promises to deliver a couple of things that the shop vac doesn't now really shop vac's a commercial term. It's a registered trademark for this company. Uh, the best way I describe these things are small utility vacuums. They're good for vacuuming them out the car, vacuuming them off the top of your work, workbench, vacuuming them off your vice shavings and things of that nature. And um, that's how I intend to use this one just like I did the old one. There's a couple of different things that made this a better unit than the old one and a couple of things that made it not as good. So let's talk first about hose length. The hose length on the old vacuum I measured out at 4 feet 4 inches and the hose length on the new one I measured out at 6 feet 10 inches. Uh, one of the inconveniences about this thing is that you almost always have to have the vacuum in your hand because the hose is so short. The other thing is, is that you could never get very far from the outlet with it. I measured the electric cord on it and this one measures out at about 6 feet and this one measures out at about 10 feet. So there's a lot of extra feet between the outlet and where you're taking your hose out at its maximum length compared to the other one for vacuuming a car or something like that. This is gonna be a much more convenient thing to use. Um, so I like that feature about it. Um, one of the other things is I measured the decibel level on these two vacuums. This one I measured at 76 and this one I measured at 78. This one is noticeably louder. You can tell the difference when it's on. Of course, the last question then is, how much do these vacuum cleaners suck? Now, both of these vacuum cleaners suck. But let's find out which one sucks more. And for that, I've got a scientific test. I'd have to say that these vacuum cleaners both suck about equally. So really the big advantage of the armor all unit is the fact that it's got the longer hose and the longer extension cord. There's one more little feature that I like about it and that is it comes with other tools but it comes with this little brush tool which you can use on your air conditioner vents and in your dashboard and things of that nature. So I like that. Hopefully it'll work out real well. Now here's the thing that really annoys me about this new vacuum. The lid wants to come up and down. It won't shake loose, but it's driving me freaking crazy every time I lift it up having to do that. It doesn't cause a vacuum leak. I'm sure I'll get used to it, but man, I wish I wouldn't have thrown away the packaging. I might have tried something else. This is Paul from CountryCraziness.com. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please subscribe if you like these types of episodes. Also, I want to let you know that we've got coming up a very important um, episode on pole barns, and that'll probably be coming up in the next couple of weeks. So watch out for that one and stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye-bye.